Hi, my name is Patty Chan from the Center for Music Innovations. And today we're going to talk about uh, the first finger for uh, playing the arhu. And the first finger is basically just your index finger of your left hand. And um, when you're playing, um, pressing with your finger, you have to remember that you're using your fingertip. And uh, your hand has to be relaxed as your wrist is also relaxed. Okay, so we're just tapping on the string rather than squeezing the string. You shouldn't see the string move um, when you're pressing on it. Okay, so I'm going to be playing the exercises from my book, Playing Urhu Bridging the Gap, and um, I'll be playing the first uh, exercises 11 until 15, and these are all on the staff notation uh, exercises. I'll be using the metronome, which is my iPad here, and um, I'll ha I have it set to 60. And what notes are we playing when we're playing uh, with our first finger? So when we look at the staff notation for the inside string, um, first finger pressing downward uh, plays the E. Okay, So E is the bottom line on the staff. And uh, the outside string, still with the first finger, we'd be playing B. And uh, B is the middle line on the staff. So this is uh, three lines above uh, from the bottom of the staff. So let's start with exercise 11, which uh, we're only trying to recognize the note E, which is the bottom note on the staff. And um, so the, the first uh, exercise has half notes and also whole notes. So you have to watch how I handle rationing the bow so that I have enough bow to play the four beats and also how I play the two beat notes. So let's start and we're gonna count in. So one, two, three, four. See how much bow I use and how quickly I move the bow uh, to play the whole notes or the four beat notes and also the half notes. The next exercise, exercise 12, um, it's still playing the letter, uh, the note E, and um, this time it's quarter notes, quarter rests, and then half notes. So quarter notes has only one beat, so as the quarter rest is one beat rest, and then we also have half notes. Let's count in again. I didn't use the entire bow because if you use the entire bow it's actually very difficult very awkward to use entire bow um, to play the quarter notes so I only use about you know a, a third or a quarter of the bow and also when I do the rest the bow stops moving because many times if you continue to move the bow you're going to continue to have sound so the next one uh, exercise 13 we're going to be going to the outside string or the A string and the first finger down plays the note B. Um, so again, we will have whole notes, four beats, and we will have half notes, two beats. See how much bow I use for the four beat notes and then how much for the two beat notes. Next we have uh, still the note B and uh, this is exercise 14 and it has quarter notes and quarter rests as well as uh, half notes. Again, note how it's 
it's really important to keep your like to stop the bow when you're resting. Okay, and our final exercise is exercise 15, which incorporates the open string um, A along with the first note, uh, first finger note B. And we have half notes and quarter notes. exercises for you to try and also to uh, pay attention to the counting of listening to the metronome and pay attention to how, how much bow you're using and also make sure that the angle of the bow does not change this way uh, when you're playing so you have to keep your right wrist relaxed as well so those are a lot of things that you have to kind of take notice as you're playing these exercises so happy practicing